Hello, so I already created a video how we can deploy smart contracts to the Flare network and the EVE network. Uh, but we will do the same now with the Binance Smart Chain. So how we do that is first we have again to add the test nets, the Binance uh, Smart Chain test nets uh, to MetaMask. So I will just click here. So so we will also link that to the RPC endpoint, and we'll have to go to MetaMask. We go again to to special so RPC, and I will call that one um, right. So PC testnet. I could call it like that, and then I have to copy the endpoint. But it will now, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the problem here. So it always closes MetaMask, and then the input data is gone. That's very annoying. But again, we by BSC testnet. Then we will we'll copy and paste it here. The chain ID is ninety seven. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Right. So the chain ID is ninety seven, as we can see here. The currency symbol we can enter here BNB. And we can also add the Tested Explorer, is the, if there is one, but it doesn't really matter for now. Um, I will quickly look, but... Now, okay, never mind. So I will just uh, save for now. Alright, so now we're connected to testnet. So in my account, there's already BNB on it. So what you will have to do is go to the faucet, so BNB uh, testnet faucet. I will also link it here. So it's that website here. There will, you will just then go to MetaMask again, copy your address, paste it in there, and then click on give me one BNB. That way you can. That way you will get one BNB in order to uh, pay the gas fees when you want to deploy smart contracts. So after you've done that, there should be then one BNB showing up on your account. So I already tried something here, so I've got less BNB, but that's how it works. After the initial setup, w which we did right now, so uh, also by the way, so you will need MetaMask to so go to website and download it if you don't have it already. It's very easy to install as a browser extension. And after we are done with all of that, we will go to remix.ethereum.org. So that's basically an online ID where we can write smart contracts. I already prepared a simple one, or could, uh, so we've been playing around a little. So like I said, I'm, I've, I'm not quite good, so I'm just getting started with smart contracts. But let's use a, simp a simple one, which is only storing one variable in a smart contract, for example, name, so we can set and get the name. And right, so it's a very simple smart contract. Then I will have again to um, right compile it, and apparently made already a mistake here. Oh, right, so it's even the incorrect one. Okay, so just you can take any smart contract basically. Um, right, okay. And after being done with all of that, then I can go to the, then after compiling it and clicking on compile. So, uh, which we will quickly highlight here is that we that Remix is built like has three layers or something like that. We could co call for layers. We've got first the file explorer. After being done with it, we can uh, click on Control S. Then it gets all more automatically compiled, or we switch to the second tab and click on compile. And after that, we go to the third layer or third tab. Then we go to deploy. And uh, now in the deploy tab, we will go to injected web three. We we'll click on that MetaMask. So right now it's not asking me; it's automatically taking it. But it will disconnect it again, so we can also see what it looks like. So again, if we would click on injected web three, then the MetaMask would open, and you would have to select the BNB account. So we've got the tester two. So a tester account. Click on uh, connect here. And after that, automatically my account gets loaded with the with the certain amount of BNB I have on there. After all of that, um, I can so after having compiled my contract, I can click on server storage and click on deploy here. Then a transaction is being prepared, which I have to sign. So the gas fee is right now zero point zero zero three, and I have to sign that here and confirm the transaction. So now it will take a short time, and our smart contract is deployed to the binance smart chain testnet. So right, so we can again so our so our contract is very dumb, so it can only store a string. So a string is a text basically. And we can set the string. So anybody can set the string and anybody 
can get the string. So we can see here, this, this is basically a simple function. So uh, it, this is, yeah, so you would have to get a little bit more familiar with programming in order to understand all of that. But just just remember, basically we've got here, just as my contract has one field for storing things, it's the name, we can store a variable called name. And that name can be ha store any type of data, which is of type string. And we can set the variable, so we created a function, a method, how we can set the variable, and we create a function, how we can retrieve it. So now, for example, I could set the name to XOP dev is showing smart contracts, basically. Uh, I could set it, then it would have to sign it because I'm changing the state of the contract, and it would have to sign the transaction again. The state gets changed. And afterwards, after having said it, I can also retrieve it. So I'm clicking on get here, and I'm getting here the string, which is uh, that one here. So I can also retrieve the data. And that's basically it for now. So you, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.